So one of the issues that comes up periodically in, in uh, our discussions about activity at the legislature involves uh, alcohol regulation. And we have a question from a viewer. This is kind of getting deep in the weeds, but I'm going to ask the question anyway and see if anybody here has uh, uh, some knowledge about where this is going. We have a viewer who wants to know, what is the panel's position on lifting regulations to allow for a beer, tap room, slash cocktail room combination. There's apparently been some discussion about this. <laughs> Anybody here have an uh, expertise in alcohol regulation want to share that with us? I don't know if I have expertise, but I do chair the Commerce Committee, and alcohol is under our purview. Uh, you know, what we've done in the past is we've tried to create an atmosphere to where we can get some of the the, the uh, micro distilleries and the micro breweries to be able to exist in our current system and to be able to be uh, to grow and develop and to do things and so we have we in the statutes we have certain limits and certain things you can and cannot <coughs> do and uh, one of the things at this point is not allowed is to have a tap room for your brewery in conjunction with a just with your distilled, distilled products that you may manufacture in the same tap room. And so that's what the statute is now. And the reason for that is, is because the purpose of allowing the tap rooms and allowing some of the growlers, allowing some of the uh, samples and stuff is so that these breweries and these tap rooms can get these samples out to the public so that they can taste the product. But it wasn't meant to be a bar, or it wasn't meant to be an off-sale liquor store. And so that's where the statute kind of gets involved and says, no, we're not going to allow that because we're not trying to create off-sale establishments. So uh, that's where the statute is at this point. 